good morning to everyone good morning sir good morning sir good morning okay uh, i think in the last class i gave uh, four problems i think finally i solved only one problem i think i i told to you uh, please do it remaining four so i don't know how many of them tried but now i am not going to solve those problem so still if you have any doubts you can ask to me now i will go to the uh, next result or next property so now so you know what is l of f dash of t okay so l of f dash of t uh, is equal to s into l of f of t that is l of f of t is f of s minus f of 0. So this result you know already. Suppose if f of 0 equal to 0, then from this we have l of f dash of t equal to s into f of s s into f of s okay from this f dash of t equal to or l inverse of s into f of s uh, i'll write like this l inverse of s into f of s is equal to f dash of t f dash of t you can write d by dt of f of t i always told that if you are left hand side is l inverse right hand side also you should write in terms of l inverse so this is equal to d by dt of f of t you can write l inverse of f of s so now the result is l inverse of s into f of s equal to d by dt of l inverse of f of s provided okay well, provided you should check the condition that is f of 0 equal to 0 okay well, provided f of 0 equal to 0 Okay, but I am writing f of 0 like this, uh, <coughs> that is f of t at t equal to 0. Okay, f, f, what is f of t? L inverse of f of s. This is actually f of t at t is equal to 0. Okay, is equal to 0. So, provided this condition is satisfied. So you should, uh, suppose if we solve the problem, you can easily remember this result. Okay, now, so that means uh, here you are uh, replacing S by D by DT. Okay, and then L inverse of F of S. Similarly, Similarly, uh, so you know what is L of F double dash of T. L of F double dash of T equal to S square into F of S minus S into F of 0 minus F dash of 0. Suppose if F of 0 and F dash of 0, both of them are 0, if you assume this is 0, this is 0. Then L inverse of S square into F of S. L inverse of S square into F of S equal to F double dash of T. F double dash of T is nothing but D square by T T square of F of T. But F of T you can write L inverse of f of s so provided provided 
f of 0 equal to 0 and f dash of 0 equal to 0. Okay, so now we will solve some problems using this result. So find L inverse of S by S plus 2 whole power 4. So now I, I, I am going to write this is L inverse of S into 1 by S plus 2 whole power 4. So now this is our form. This is S. This is F of S. So L inverse of S into F of S is equal to we can replace S by D by DT L inverse of F of S. F of S is equal to 1 by S plus 2 whole power 4. Before uh, going to the next step, first I need to check the condition F of 0 equal to 0. That is uh, L inverse of f of s is f of s at t equal to 0 is 0. Here f of s is what? Here f of s is uh, L inverse of f of s is L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole power 4. I need to check this is uh, at t equal to 0 is 0. Okay. Wow. So next step, next I'll go to next page. So L inverse of f of t equal to L inverse of f of s. f of s is 1 by uh, s plus 2 whole power 4. So this is equal to e power minus 2t. L inverse of 1 by s power 4 is what? t cube by 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6. So this is f of t. So now f of 0 equal to at t equal to 0, uh, you will get 0. Okay, well, f of 0 equal to 0. So now this condition is satisfied. Now equation 1 implies 1 is the left hand side is what? The given problem L inverse of s by s plus 2 whole power 4. Uh, right hand side is what? d by dt of L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole power 4 d by dt of L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole power 4. But instead of L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole power 4, you can replace by this function. That is e power minus 2t t cube by 6. Take 1 by 6 commonly uv method. Okay, so t power minus 2t into 3t square and then minus 2 into e power minus 2t into t q. The final answer is uh, if you take commonly uh, e power minus 2t, e power minus 2t common, t square is also common by 6 remaining we have uh, 3 minus uh, 2t. So this is the final answer. Okay. So now I uh, will go to the second problem. Find L inverse of s square by s square plus a square whole square okay okay so for this problem uh, so especially in laplace uh, even one problem you can solve in so many different methods okay well, so out of different method you should choose the method which is uh, easier for you. So I feel that uh, you can write this one is equal to L inverse of S into, you should split like this, S square plus A square whole square. 
Now, this is of the form L inverse of S into F of S. So, how you can write this one? Please tell. D by DT of. Uh, yeah, D by DT of. Uh, L inverse of. Uh, L inverse of. S by uh, S square plus S square. Yeah, yes, by S square plus S square whole square. Correct, uh, Sheila. I think uh, uh, what is L inverse of how to solve this problem? L inverse of S by S square plus S square whole square. Any idea? L inverse of F dash is equal to minus 3 into L inverse of integration uh, of S to infinity uh, that F of S into DS. Ah, uh, very good. Go over the, uh, what is your name? Go over the, you are right. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, yesterday, I think we solved this problem. I think you you told that, somebody told that, uh, sir, please solve the first problem. I think I solved this problem. Please check it. Whether I am solved this problem or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same problem. Yeah, same problem. Okay, wa. I think... Uh, Okay, so the what is the idea? I think uh, you, I think you, you told correctly. L inverse of uh, f of s is equal to t into L inverse of s to infinity f of s ds. So only thing we need to identify correctly. Okay, which method? So one, once you identify the correct method, then you will you can easily do it. So now d by dt. Okay, wow d by dt of I directly use that uh, value but I don't want to do it again t by 2a sin a sin a t now take 1 by 2a commonly 1 by 2a commonly differentiation uv method t into cos a t into a plus sin a t into 1. So the final answer is 1 by 2 a a t or sin a t plus a t into cos a t a t into cos a t. So this is the final answer. So some students will try the same problem like this. Okay, I will tell you just uh, uh, they will try like this L inverse of s square into 1 by s square plus uh, a square whole square okay wow. so if you do it like this uh, if you consider this is f of s then uh, okay actually here you have the method uh, L inverse of uh, s square into f of s that is uh, two times uh, s square which you need to differentiate two times okay what well, d square by dt square of l inverse of f of s but here the f of s is what one by s square plus a square whole square if the square is not here then you can write uh, that is one by a sin a t so because the square is here so that that's makes a problem so that's why i don't want to do it like this Okay, so so these types of thing you should uh, think before the exam, not on the uh, one day before the examination. Okay, wa. Well, what doubts la? Upiye klaar kya pani kine? Okay, so now uh, I'll go to the third problem. So L inverse of S cube by S cube by S square plus A square whole square. So please, anyone give the idea how to approach this problem? That we can take S common. Very good. Universal. Yeah, yes. Remaining is what? S square by S square plus yes. S square whole square. So now, what is the next step, Sheila? S into F of S. Yes, so, sir. D by DT of. 
uh, d by dt of uh, l inverse of s square by s square. l inverse of f of s f of s is s square by x square plus a square whole square i think uh, we have this is a previous problem huh? l inverse of s square by s square plus a square whole square is a, just a previous problem so yes, just to use this but in examination again you need to do it okay suppose this problem is asked so d by dt of uh, i will write the final answer 1 by 2a okay well, 1 by 2a sin a t plus a t into cos a t so now remaining is just a differentiation so 1 by 2a to common if you differentiate sin a t a cos a t plus a into uh, cos a t okay wow. minus a t sin a t so final answer uh, we can take this a is also common so 1 by 2 okay wow. cos a t cos a t 2 cos a t minus a t into sin a t so it's a final answer so next problem l inverse of s plus 1 whole square by s square plus 2s plus 5 whole square. So please give how to, what is the first step? Illinois of s plus 1 whole square. First write the denominator in the form of uh, s plus 1 whole square plus 4 whole square. So this is equal to what? Using first shifting theorem, t power minus t, L inverse of s square by s square plus 4 whole square. Actually, this is a particular case of the problem, L inverse of s square by x square plus a square whole square. So in the examination, again, you need to do it. You can't use the previous result. So I think I will write the final answer directly. Can anyone tell the final answer? Just a equal to 2. Substitute one by a equal four into 1 by 4. Uh, 1 by 4 into. Uh, 1 by 2. Uh, 1 by 2 a. Uh. Sir, a got cancelled. This question. This question. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. Okay. One by because this is L inverse of S square by S square plus A square whole square. So two into A. One by four. Uh, into sine two uh, t. Sine two t. Uh, plus plus uh, four t, t cos. Cos two. Two t cos two t. So please write the reason also here. Okay. Uh, so maybe now you know that, but. Uh, Maybe if you study later, okay, well, you you may uh, direct a pretty sorry, I don't know, I don't know. okay, well, so fine, this is equal to sorry, a square. So please tell, I think it, uh, 1 by 4, I'll write the final answer here 1 by 4 into uh, 1 by 2 a, well, sorry, 1 by 2 a. Sin a t plus a t cos a t plus a t cos a t. Okay. So first the problem. So before going to okay. So first the problem. L inverse of s square by s square minus 4 
whole whole square so so again can you tell how to start this poll sir same like s common and s by s plus yeah okay same s into s by s square minus here not plus okay wow. whole square okay this is equal to d by dt of l inverse of f of s that is s by s square minus 4 whole square so now i need to solve this problem actually this is the second problem yesterday i gave the five problems okay wa so i think now uh suppose if you solve this problem you can tell the answer anybody i got t by 4 sin h 2t sir go over yes, sir i too got that sir santosh raja okay yes, sir t by 4 sin h 2t yeah t by 4 sin h 2t yes thank you so that's why I, i i gave already those problems okay d by dt of uh, t sin h 2t by 4 so those who are not done it so please verify it again okay now again differentiation 1 by 4 uv method okay va so t into uh cos h 2t into 2 plus uh plus uh and then sin h 2t into 1 okay this is equal to uh i think uh I think you can stop here. Okay, so one by four, this is enough. One by four into sine h two t plus two t into cos h two t. So this is a final answer. So next problem, L inverse of S minus three whole square divided by S square minus six S plus five whole square. So first, uh, I should write the denominator in the form of S square plus S square or S square minus S square. So S minus three uh, yeah. S minus three whole square, so nine. So I need here have five. I need to subtract four whole square. So this is nothing but using shifting theorem. E power three t L inverse of uh, S square divided by S square minus four whole square. So just now we solved. Uh, L inverse of s square by s square minus four whole square. So please tell. I will write in the in this page e power three t one by four a uh, one by four ah uh, sin h two t ah uh, sin h two t okay uh, plus two t cos h two t sir plus two t cos h two t. Thank you, Gordonam. Two t cos h Okay. So. So okay, and then I will give some practice problem in this type, and then I will go go to the next uh, uh, next type. The practice problem is. Uh, so try to solve these problems. L inverse of S square by S minus two whole cube. 
which is the first column and then second column is uh, i will write here l inverse of s by s square plus 4s plus 5 and the third problem is l inverse of s by s plus 2 into s plus 3 and the fourth one is l inverse of s by s square plus 1 into s square plus 4 okay so okay so the next uh, type is again i will start from laplace i think you know l of integral 0 to t f of t dt so which is equal to i need to replace the integral 0 to t by 1 by s we will usually write l of f of t because uh, if, if you have l then if you, then the right hand side is also l then you can easily find out okay well, but now we are going to find l and s that's why uh, i will write in terms of s so 1 by s into f of s so now L inverse of 1 by S into F of S okay, well, is equal to integral 0 to T F of T into DT. Okay, but uh, again L inverse of 1 by S into F of S is equal to integral 0 to t f of t you should write in terms of l inverse l inverse of f of s into dt so this is the result so i think when i am discussing laplace and I, I told that you need to replace integral 0 to t by 1 by s and then l of f of t but here, replace 1 by s, okay, well, replace 1 by s by just, uh, uh, okay, well, opposite, okay, well, replace 1 by s by integral 0 to t, L inverse of f of s. <coughs> so, that is the idea. Similarly, the previous case, I told that replace s by, uh, replace s by t, uh, sorry, d by dt, replace s by uh, d by dt. Yeah. Okay. So now we will solve some problems in this type using this uh, result. First problem L inverse of one by S into S plus two whole q okay well. uh, so similarly okay i forgot to tell one more thing similarly l inverse of 1 by s square okay well. f of s so then you need to replace uh, s square by 0 to t 0 to t l inverse of f of s dt into dt so if you say s cube means we have triple integral okay so now 1 by s so instead of 1 by s i will replace by 0 to t l inverse of f of s f of s is 1 by s plus 2 whole q into ds not ds dt okay well, this is a function of t okay so that's why you should write here t now this is equal to integral 0 to t l inverse of uh, 1 by s plus 2 whole cube is e power minus 2 t into uh, l inverse of 1 by s cube is uh, t square by 2 factorial into dt so now 1 by 2 so yeah bernoulli's method 
So keep t square. If you integrate e power minus 2t, e power minus 2t by minus 2, minus 2t. And then again, if you integrate e power minus 2t by minus 2, you get e power minus 2t by 4 plus 2 e power minus 2t by minus 8. So limit is from 0 to t. Okay, so you'll get 1 by 2 minus uh, t square e power minus 2t by 2 t equal to t upper limit. So you'll get everything minus uh, t into e power minus 2t by 2 minus e power minus 2t by 4. So upper limit is over. Lower limit t equal to 0, 0, 0. And this is 1. So minus 1 by 4. The final answer is, uh, I think, uh, OK. The final answer you can take, uh, I will write here, 1 by 2. 1 by 2. OK, here I am taking commonly, what is common? e power minus 2t by 4 is common. If I take 4 common, uh, remaining you have what? I will take minus also. Okay, so this is 1. 1. Mm, here you have 2t. 2t. Here have 2t square. And then plus 1 by 4. So even you can take, if you want to take 1 by 4 commonly, that is up to you. Okay, wow. so 1 by 8, 1 by 8, okay, wow. 1 minus e power minus 2t into 1 plus 2t plus 2t square. Close the bracket and finally close the bracket. This is 2t square. So this is the final answer. So second problem, ln inverse of 54 divided by s cube by s, s cube into s minus 3. Okay. So here we have s cube. So you can replace this by uh, 0 to t, 0 to t, 0 to t. So meanwhile, think about uh, we, uh, can we solve this problem by some other method. After finishing this, I will ask you if there is any other method to solve this problem. So L inverse of f of s. What is f of s? Uh, 54 divided by s minus 3. That is your f of s. dt, dt, dt. So you get... Uh, 0 to t, 0 to t, uh, 0 to t, 54. Elenos of uh, 1 by s minus uh, 3 is e power 3t, dt, dt, dt. 54, 0 to t, 0 to t. If you integrate first time, e power 3t by 3, the limit is from 0 to t dt dt so next uh, if you substitute the limits you'll get uh, so first you can cancel this is a 20 18 uh, 18 54 by 3 is 18 integral mm. 0 to t uh, 0 to t apply apply the upper limit e power 3t lower limit e power 0 is 1 into dt into dt so next to again integrate 18 integral 0 to t. If you integrate again, you'll get what? e power 3t by 3 minus uh, t limit is from 0 to t into dt. Apply the limit 18 0 to t e power 3t by 3 minus t e power 3t by 3 minus t this is upper limit is over minus lower limit 
1 by 3 minus 0. So 1 by 3 minus 0. Okay. So into dt. Now again uh, integrate it with respect to t. We'll get 18 into e power 3t by 9 minus uh, t square by 2 minus t by 3 limit is from 0 to t. So 18, okay, uh, e power 3t by 9 minus t square by 2 minus t by 3. So upper limit is over, minus lower limit is 1 by 9 minus 0 minus 0. Okay, so if you take, uh, if you take 18 as LCM, so 2 e power 3t minus 9t square minus 6t minus 1. So 18, 18 gets cancelled. The final answer is uh, 2 into e power 3t minus... So minus 2 will convert into... Yeah, minus 2, correct. Thank you. Minus 2. Uh, okay, 9t square minus 6t minus 2. Okay. So this is the final answer. Okay. So is there is any method? To Sir, we can do partial fraction. Yeah, partial fraction. Okay, you are right. That is A by A. Uh, S plus B by S square plus C by S cube plus D by S minus 3. So you can find the value of A, B, C, D. Okay. So that is one method. Okay. Other than partial fraction. So the, the hint is, this is the hint. Okay, so I will just uh, write the first step, then you can understand. Uh, so please tell the problem. So another method. So L inverse of uh, uh, 1 by, uh, sorry, 54 by S cube S minus 3. So the idea is add and subtract 3 here. L inverse of 54 divided by S minus 3 plus 3. Whole cube into S minus 3. So now uh, put a bar first, okay, like this, because you have S minus 3 here, have S minus 3. So by using shifting theorem, e power 3t, L inverse of uh, 54 by S plus uh, S, because already we used the shifting theorem, so S plus 3 whole cube S. Okay. Now, here have only one S. Here have S cube. Okay. Wa? So, this is equal to e power 3t. So, 1 by S in the F of S. Instead of 1 by S, you can replace by uh, the integral, integral 0 to T, L inverse of, what is F of S? 54 okay. divided by S plus 3 whole Q into DT. Now, single integral. So, in the previous case, you have a triple integral. So, to avoid this, you can do like this. So, the remaining part, I leave it to you. The, you know the final answer. Please check it. Okay. So, the next problem is, uh, you try this problem. It's a practice problem. The next problem, problem number three. L inverse of 1 by S into S square plus 4s plus 5 
the final answer also i will give 1 by 5 into 1 minus uh, t power minus 2t into uh, 2 into sin t plus cos t either you can solve by partial fraction or in replace 1 by s by integral 0 to t uh, and then ln inverse of 1 by s square plus 4s plus 5 okay so next problem l inverse of 1 by s square into s square plus a square so instead of uh, s square you can replace by 0 to t 0 to t uh, l inverse of f of s that is 1 by s square plus a square into dt into dt. Okay. So now this is equal to integral of 0 to t, integral of 0 to t, L inverse of this quantity is 1 by a sin a t into dt into dt. Now integrate 1 by a 0 to t. If you integrate first time, we'll get a minus cos a t by a limit is from 0 to t dt. So minus 1 by a square minus 1 by a square integration 0 to t upper limit is what? Cos a t minus cos 0 1 okay into dt. Again integration okay one more time. So minus 1 by a square Uh, sin a t by a minus t sin a t by a minus t limit is from 0 to t again upper limit minus 1 by a square into sin a t by a minus t minus lower limit sin 0 0 t 0 the final answer is uh, if you take uh, a is uh, lcm i'll get uh, minus 1 by a cube into uh, sin a t minus a t or take minus commonly so 1 by a cube a t minus sin a t Next problem. So, for the, I think I will give back. Uh, this is a practice problem, but I will give the idea. Okay, L inverse of one by s square into s plus one by s square plus one. So instead of one by s square, you know that you can replace by zero to t, zero to t l inverse of f of s, s plus 1 by s square plus 1 into dt into dt. Now, 0 to t, 0 to t, you can split l inverse of uh, s, s by s square plus 1 is cos t. l inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is sin t. So, remaining part, integration. So I leave it to you integration part and also give the final answer. The final answer is uh, 1 plus t minus cos t minus sin t. Okay. So next problem is uh, L inverse of 1 by s square plus a square whole square. So how to solve this problem? Anyone? <coughs> so 
Ah, uh, very good. What is your name? Vishal. Sir. Yeah, Vishal. So, why you need to multiply and divide by yes? Why? You are right. Your answer is correct. What is the reason? Ah, uh, so then it can convert you into firm, so we can integrate and uh, and uh, we know the. Uh, yeah. of S by S square 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 L inverse of 1 by S square plus A square is uh, 1 by A sin 80. So because of this square, okay, you can't directly find out. So L inverse of multiply and divide by S. So this is the idea. Okay, wow. So now, uh, just now I told that if you have 1 by S, you should replace by uh, integral 0 to T. Okay, wow. L inverse of F of S. That is S by X square plus A square whole square into dt. Okay, well, but yesterday we solved this problem. L inverse of s by s square plus uh, a square. Govardhan also told that today morning, I think uh, when we start the class. So we need to solve this problem by uh, L inverse of f of s is equal to integral s to infinity uh, L inverse of f of s. So take the denominator s square plus uh, a square equal to some t and then uh, what is the answer? T by 2a sin 80, sir. Ah. T by 2a sin 80. So, in, uh, because we are using this problem regularly, that's why you should, I think uh, uh, this, I think now it is a result. Okay, wow. result So, now, uh, now 1 by 2a uh, by uh, Bernoulli's. Okay, 1 by 2a t into, if you integrate uh, cos sin 80 you get minus cos 80 by a minus 1 into uh, minus sin 80 by a square so limit is from 0 to t okay apply the upper limit and then lower limit i will write here 1 by 2a minus t into cos a t by a plus sin a t by a square this is a square upper limit is over minus lower limit when t equal to 0 0 sin 0 0 0 so both of them are 0 so the final answer take a square is lcm so 1 by 2 a cube Uh, into uh, uh, sin 80 minus 80 cos 80. So this is the final answer. I think uh, I think this is the final answer. I'll check it. 1 by 2 a cube sin 80 minus 80 cos 80. Yes. Uh, 6, 7. So next problem. L inverse of 1 by s into s square plus a square whole square. So please tell the first step. Sir, again we can multiply and divide by s. Yes, correct, Sheila. Again, we need to multiply and divide by s. Yeah. So, 1 by s square, s by s square plus a square whole square. So, now instead of s square, so 0 to t, 0 to t. L inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square okay wow. 
close the bracket dt into dt now uh, this is a 0 to t 0 to t l inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square is t by 2a sin a t into dt so i think just now we got the value of integral 0 to t t by 2a sin a t dt so this portion we know the answer that is 1 by 2a cube into <coughs> sin a t minus a t into cos a t i'll substitute in the next play, next page 0 to t 1 by 2a cube 1 by 2a cube into sin a t minus a t cos a t okay into dt so now i leave it to you again you need to integrate okay wa? so i don't want to waste my time so if you have doubt you can ask to me so again you should split this is separate integral this is the, here you should apply bernoulli's okay wa? so final answer is 1 by 2a power 4 into 2 minus 2 cos a t minus a t into sin a t. Okay. Uh, okay. Eight. No, sir. Yeah, please, sir. Uh, if you don't mind, can you just move back to last sir? Previous. Uh, please tell me. Here, uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I just wanted to check that answer. That is okay. So this is the final answer. So if you don't get it, okay, you may tell uh, next class, or you can uh, put it the WhatsApp group. Suppose anybody got the answer, also you can take a photo and then post it. Maybe it will be useful for the remaining students. Can I move to go to the next slide, Vishal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, uh, L inverse of 1 by S square plus uh, 2S plus 5. Whole square. Okay. So this is equal to... Um, What is time now? 140. Okay. So now you can do okay. L inverse of 1 by S plus 1. Okay. Wow. Whole square plus 4. So now this is equal to e power minus t into okay. Wow. E power minus t into uh, L inverse of what? 1 by s square plus uh, 4 whole square so now i think uh, we solved the general problem l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square whole square okay mm -hmm. well, substitute a to 2 and tell the final answer so please tell quickly So this follow L inverse of 1 by s square plus a square is what? T 1 by 2a cube sin a t minus a t cos a t. 1 by 2a cube 2 into a uh, 2 2 cube 2 cube is 8. Okay, wow. uh, sin 2t. minus a t that is a 2 t into cos 2 t so this is the final answer okay otherwise uh, that is 1 by t power minus 2 t by 16 
into sin 2t minus 2t into cos 2t. So I'll try to complete the previous uh, problem because uh, maybe some of our students feel difficult to integrate. Okay, so, so now this is equal to integration 1 by 2a cube is uh, common. Integration 0 to t sin a t into dt minus uh, again you have uh, minus a by 2a cube that is minus 1 by 2a square integration 0 to t uh, t into cos a t into dt. So now if you integrate this one you will get uh, 1 by 2a cube into minus cos a t by a 0 to t. So minus 1 by 2a square uv method. So t into uh, sin a t by a minus 1 into minus cos a t by a square. Limit is from 0 to t. So 1 by uh, 2a power 4 by 2a power 4 into minus also I will take commonly uh, cos a t minus cos 0 1 ok here minus 1 by 2a square uh, 2a if you take ok first I substitute the limits uh, t into sin a t by a ok plus uh, cos a t by a square that is upper limit is over lower limit is uh, t equal to 0 0 here lower limit is uh, plus, uh, minus into minus plus 1 by a square and by a square so I will go to the next page this is equal to minus 1 by 2a cube 2a power 4 uh, or I'll write plus into 1 minus cos a t okay and then if you take a square is LCM minus 1 by 2a power 4 uh, remaining you have 1 plus sorry minus 1 now minus 1 or if you take minus commonly plus so 1 1 minus uh, cos a t minus cos a t ok and then minus a t sin a t so if you take 1 by 2 a power 4 commonly remaining you have 1 plus 1 2 minus cos a t minus cos a t minus 2 cos a t ok and then minus uh, a t into uh, sin a t ok I think I gave this answer is it correct 1 by 2 a power 4 into 2 minus 2 cos a t minus a t sin a t ok now time is uh, I think uh, it is over nearly so I will give some practice problem so you can try so first problem ln os of 1 by s square minus 4 whole square so what is the idea here you need to multiply and divide by Yes. So final answer 2t into uh, cos h 2t minus sin h 2t. Second problem 
Allenovus of 1 by S into S square minus 4. Here, there is no need to multiply and divide by S because uh, if you replace S by integral 0 to T, remaining is what? L inverse of the previous problem. So you can use this result. The final answer is 1 by 16 into T sin H2T minus cos H2T plus 1. Third problem is uh, ln inverse of 1 by s square minus 2s minus 3 whole square. So write the denominator in the form of either s square plus a square or s square minus b square and then uh, try to solve this problem. e power t by 16 2t into this is the last problem cos h2t minus sin h2t. So tomorrow I will take one more hour extra hour, 7.30 to 8.30. It's not compulsory. If, 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 if you are interested, you can attend. Tomorrow I am going to take uh, a second shifting theorem using second shifting theorem, find the ln OS. And then I will start uh, convolution theorem and then uh, after finishing convolution theorem, I will solve some other problems using convolution theorem. Okay, thank you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Otherwise, we'll meet tomorrow exactly at 7.30. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.